So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to design a Christmas dinner flyer like this. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, kindly hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for coming back again. So like I do it almost all the time, here are the resources that I'll be using in case you want to download and follow suit a link to download it will be in the description box so you kindly check it out now let's hop into Photoshop so what we're going to do first is we're going to create a new document and you can do this for A4, A5, A3 so in this video I'm going to use A3 now I want to decrease my resolution a little bit so that it is not going to be that big so I click OK and then we move on now the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to import in my background so this is what i'm going to use as the background so i'll drag and drop it inside of photoshop and then i leave it over here so basically when you bring it in it gives you the control so you can just drag it from this side but unless otherwise you're using the cc 2019 you have to hold shift and then alt and then you drag from the very diagonal edges to somewhere around here now you take your time to position it over here we want to have the reds in it like this and then you can take over here or you press enter on your keyboard to mark it down so basically it is going to be left like this so you right click this one and you go to rasterize layer you go to filter here and then you click on that and then you go to blur and then you go to Gaussian blur so you're going to add a sort of Gaussian blur so I chose 40.1 it depends on the background or the picture that you want to use as the background you can choose something less or but one thing is the more you increase it the more it becomes blurry so I'll choose to go for my 40.1 and then I'm going to click OK. Now next off, I'll go back to my resources and I'm going to import in this particular dinner table set already. So I'm going to open it up a little bit like this. And then I'm going to make sure that it is up to this side. I just want the cap and everything over there to appear. So I'll right click on this one as well and then I'll rasterize it. I'm going to add a layer mask to it so that I can take my brush that is pressing on B and then I'll take my brush make sure that the foreground color is black and then I'm going to brush this one the very edges a little bit so that it will be smooth and it can blend with the background simple right so next off I'm going to import in this Christmas beautiful PNG over here and then I will leave it at this side because it is two i don't want the two so i'm going to select my rectangular marker tool and make a selection from this side i actually want the bottom one so i make a selection from this side press ctrl and j and then i'm going to send it over to my working document that is this one so i'm going to press ctrl a and then make sure that this is centered horizontally I press ctrl T and then I'm going to hold shift and then alt and then I'm going to drag this one till the very edges I hold shift again and then drag this down a little bit around here now I'll double click and make sure that the transformation is gone and then I can group these three by holding shift and selecting my first background pressing ctrl G and then I can name this one background So next off, I'm going to select my ellipse tool. You can call it the circle tool. And then I'm going to hold shift and then draw a circle. So I want a perfect circle. That is the reason why I held shift. So I'm going to press Ctrl A and then make sure that this is centered okay, horizontally. And then I'll position it somewhere around here. So I'll double click on the thumbnail over here and then go to pick this particular color. This is the hex code. So I'll click OK and then make sure that I press Ctrl J to make a duplicate. I'll press Ctrl T to transform it down a little bit like this. And then I'll double click on that one. I'll come to the fill over here and then I'm going to set the fill to 0%. Right click on the duplicated 
ellipse or circle go to the blending options and then i'm going to set the stroke to about five to eight depending on how you the resolution you are using so i can choose around eight and then i'll change the color to white so you can see it's from here and then i'll click ok so i'll press ctrl t again to make sure that it is transformed a little bit smaller like that okay so next off i'll select my rectangle tool and then i'm going to draw another nice rectangle over here but you have to make sure this time around that you are not holding the shift because if you do so it is going to blend with that of the ellipse or the circle that you first created so i'll press ctrl a to make sure that this is centered horizontally and i'll press ctrl d to deselect that one next off let's add some test so i'll go for my test tool over here start writing the test and i'm going to use the font called railway a link to download will be in the description so this is going to read end of year and then i'm going to change the color to white make sure that i have the bold over here and then i'm going to bring it inside of the ellipse or the circle that we created since it is in the middle whenever we press ctrl a and center this one it is also going to be in the middle so you can take your time to position this one nicely over here so I'm going to press Ctrl G to duplicate the test and drag it down a little bit over here. And then I'm going to edit that one to dinner. So the dinner is going to be a little bit bigger. So I'll press Ctrl T to transform it over here like that. It shouldn't be that much bigger. So I'll select the two and drag it beneath smaller like this and press Ctrl T to transform it to be a little bit bigger i think we can use the bold or the semi bold but this looks good so we can move ahead now let's go ahead and copy or duplicate the dinner by pressing ctrl j again and then we bring it down over here we're going to edit that one to the last supper so basically it's going to read end of year dinner dubbed the last supper so the last supper will be here and then i'm going to change that font to her vertical inserts so like i said a link to download that will be in the description so i'm going to get rid of the first or the second r and bring my e and then i'm going to press ctrl t transform it to make sure that it fits into the rectangle that we created so it is going to be here you press ctrl a and you make sure that it is centered so you can press ctrl t and transform it a little bit bigger and then we're going to add a couple of blending options to this one so we right click on the last supper go to the blending options and the first thing that we're going to add is the gradient overlay so i have the gradient already set so i can have it over here i'll give you the hex codes if you want, really want to use that and then this is what we have so you click ok and then we go ahead to add a color overlay to it so the color we're going to choose this particular color called fff1cb now we're going to click ok and go to the blending mode and change this one to linear band so we're going to decrease the opacity a little bit like that and then we go to add an inner shadow to it so the opacity of the inner shadow is going to be around 59 percent and then the distance is going to be around seven eight anyhow you really want to put it and then you go to the shadow and we're going to add a couple of shadow to it so the distance is going to be around eight and then the size you can increase it up a little bit and then the shadow you decrease it up like this so this is going to be the blending options that you're going to add to the supper so you can see that it differs slightly from the white layer or the white test that we have over here so next off i'm going to add the date and then the time and venue to it so i'm going to choose another the test tool and i'm going to add another test and this time around it's going to use the same color but then i'm going to use the font called poppins so i'm going to type this symbol over here and then i'm going to change this one to the color right over here so i'm going to change this one to the semi bold over here and press ctrl t to transform it make it a little bit smaller 
and then i'll press ctrl j to duplicate it change this one or edit that one to 29th so it's going to be december 29th and then the 29 has to be a little bit bigger so it reads december 29th like that very beautiful over there i'm going to hold ctrl and then lift this one to this side make a duplicate of these two by pressing ctrl j and then i'll slide it to the right side of this one and then i'm going to change this one to time so the time is going to be 5 pm so i'll type 5 pm over here sharp like that and then i'll make a duplicate once again of the december like we have over here and then i'll drag this one to the bottom and then i'll press ctrl a to make sure that it is centered right over there so i'll select this one and select all the tests and i've already copied a test so i'm going to press ctrl v to paste that one and that is going to be the venues so i'm going to press ctrl t to transform it a little bit to make sure that it is in alignment with the date and then the test so from there i can select from the christ the king that is the december over here christ the king that is going upwards and hold shift and select that one press ctrl g to group it and then i'll press ctrl a to center it so i just basically want everything here centered i'll press ctrl t and i can transform it neatly over here like that so once that is done i can go ahead and ungroup this one perhaps i can still leave this one and call them the dates and location so once that is done i'll go ahead and add another test to this one so i'll select and press it over here and press ctrl v to paste this test because i've already copied it so i'll press ctrl t and then i'll open it up like this press ctrl a and then i'll center it over here now i'll right click on this one and go to the blending options and then i'm going to add a stroke to it perhaps you're picking something reddish like this and then i'm going to increase the size to about four or five any how you really want it but then when you zoom in here you can see this one really well but i'm going to as well select it all and then change this one to medium and i'll press ctrl t once again and transform it out a little bit so you just have to make sure that everything is in place if you have logos as well you can add them but then if you don't have logo i think that is going to be so fine for you the last two things that we're going to add to these ones are going to be the rate so this one from this section to this part i can select them and group that one to main i can call that one main that is because it covers the center or the main part of the flyer like that so underneath of this particular layer i want to add something so i'm going to select my rounded rectangle and make a rounded rectangle over there and it's going to pick the color this one so i'll click ok and then i'll zoom in very nicely and then i'm going to add rate to it so i'll use popping still to rate and then i'll drag it inside of this one press ctrl t and then i'm going to open it up like that so i'm going to make a duplicate drag it down and then i'm going to add the ghana cities i'm not having the city sign so it's going to be 18 so the rate is going to be 18 cities and then you close it up nicely like that so you take your time to position it and that is pretty much it so the last thing that we're going to add will be the effect but first of all let's add this particular bow tie effect it is part of the final effect so i'm going to drag this one and drop it on top of this one so i want it somewhere around here it looks good over there and i'll press ctrl a to make sure that it is centered and i think that looks good over there do you think same now the final effect one would be on top of the end of year dinner and the other one would be on the on top of the last supper so what we're going to do is we're going to right click and select the dinner over here so it has to be on top of the dinner so i'll go to my resources select my lens flare and drag it inside of the photoshop and then i'm going to paste it right on top of the dinner so you can take your time to transform it over here and then once you double click on it the 
transformations is gone you right click and you go to screen over here and then you right click and you rasterize the layer so you can just place this one right over here but then if you want it to bright the more and get rid of these flesh like these lines you go to filter and then blur and then gaussian blur and then you can blur it a little bit but still it brightens over there so you click ok when you are done and like i said the last effect will be on top of the last supper so you select the last supper you go into your resources and then you're going to bring in this particular lens flare mind you all of these are linked in the description so you can download them so once it loads you double click on this one you right click and you rasterize and then you go to the blending options and then you set it to screen so that it can also brighten as well but you press ctrl t to transform this one we don't want it to be on top of the whole of the last supper we just want it beneath here just beneath here so you can decrease it from the vertical edges and then you place it over here you go to filter blur and then gaussian blur and then you add a little bit of gaussian blur but this time this one we don't want to increase it like that much and then you click ok so you can press ctrl a to make sure that it is centered and then it is right on top over here now all is said and done that is pretty much it you have your church name you have the dinner that is the main thing you have your date your time and then the rate over there and that's pretty much it that is how to design a beautiful christmas dinner flyer for your church organization or family thank you so much for watching please check out other videos that i've done on christmas and other flyers that i've done that would be basically it let me know your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one innocent here and bye